the Building Safety Group are an approved uh, training organisation by the Construction Industry Training Board and as such uh, we offer and deliver uh, a range that range of courses which covers from our point of view environmental, health and safety awareness, site supervisors and the refresher that goes with it and site managers and the refresher that goes with that. Those courses attract grant funding for eligible organisations but uh, there were some changes introduced with those courses particularly in respect of the end test. The health and safety awareness course that we deliver over one day is a route for uh, those taking it towards their CSCS card. Some may take the, uh, the test to have the day and then do their health and safety uh, environmental. Some may do it the other way round, but it's an integral part of it for a CSCS card. The actual format for this hasn't changed in as much that it remains 25 questions. The main difference is the real difference that there are now three safety critical questions contained within it. The pass mark has also been raised to 80%. So it's possible for somebody who takes this, sits this course to achieve well over 80%, not achieve or fail to get a correct response on a safety critical question. And that means then that they will be looking at resitting a different paper either on the day or within 90 days of the date of that particular course. The site supervisors courses that we deliver are uh, elements of it are the same. The core exercise, the tutor review remains, but the end test is the bit, the, the questions that are different. Previously 25 questions with a 72% pass mark, it's now 22 multi-choice questions with three additional questions that require a written response. The 22 questions, there are four of them that are safety critical. They have to be answered correctly. The additional three questions require a response of two to three words within each question really. Um, that's, that's the main difference to it. But somebody who achieves the 80% pass mark and gets a safety critical question incorrect, even though they've got over 80%, they have to be looking, they are looking at a reset either on the day or within the 90 day time frame. The site managers and the site managers refresher course that we deliver uh, has also no surprise changed. Core exercises, tutor reviews remain the same, but as with the other qualifications, uh, the real change is in the end test. Previously 25 multi-choice questions with a 72% pass mark, this is now changed and it's 20 multi-choice questions with an additional five that require written responses and the pass mark is 80%. The sting in the tail, if you like, for the 20 questions multi-choice is that five of them are safety critical. And so, as with the others that we've talked about, you could achieve quite a high percentage mark, but one out of those five within that 20 incorrect and you're looking at a reset and you're looking at a reset either on the day with a separate paper or within the 90 day time frame. The five written questions are different to the site supervisors. They require a little more detail. Effectively, there are three parts to each of those five questions and each of those parts will require four or five words to uh, to get to get the mark that you're looking for.
Outside of the Site Safety Plus courses that we run, we also have a great many uh, that were previously termed in-house, uh, such as Asbestos Awareness, Non-Licensed Asbestos, Working at Height. Uh, those courses previously did not attract grant funding. Now, because of changes and because of our approved status, uh, these courses and others that we run do attract grant funding. Some of the courses that we offer at the moment do not attract grant funding. We are reviewing those, we're looking at it with the intention of getting as many as we can recognised. Where they don't attract grant funding, those courses again for the most part will be able to be credited towards CPD for the individual who sat them. Also for the individual who's taken those courses or sat on those courses, it will be, or we will be able to directly input their details onto the construction training register, which is of a benefit to them. So what do you think of the changes that CITB have introduced? Let us know in the comments section.